welcome to the channel behind me is a 2015 Seat Leon. that's a very it is a really nice car actually but uh, obviously it's the middle of winter now and the heaters are blowing absolute freezing cold so the engine's up to temperature thermostats open it's still blowing cold and uh, what I've done a couple of days ago I blasted the heater matrix out and they obviously start getting a, bit, a little bit warm but there's still a problem now ordered a new heater matrix and I've removed it from the car today and found it full of granules now I've done a little bit of digging on this because I've never I've heard about it but I've never come across it these vehicles Volkswagen's Audi Skodas are all fitted with uh, a bag of granules in the expansion bottle and what that is supposed to do is Volkswagen say these are a lifetime coolant which is stupid really because when you change the time belt you change the water pump at the same time and you change the coolant so I don't know what they were thinking in all honesty but what happens is the bag splits over time and blocks up the heater matrix now there's a little bit of information but I've not really found a lot so this video is just showing you how to or what to look for as in you know you've got cold heaters in the winter so I'll just quickly show you what I've found so far right so here are the new one on the left and the old one on the right so what happens is the granules I'll just show you the granules actually this is what I've drained out from the inside of the car and as you can see that's full of granules so straight away we found the problem we found why the heater matrix is blocking up so let me show you a little test just turn the camera around right so the new heater matrix go on there obviously really clear the old heater matrix now yeah it's clean before anybody starts saying oh you shouldn't be doing that because it's full antifreeze I've lied to it it's fine <sighs> that is pretty clogged and that is the reason that the heaters are freezing cold in the car because obviously coolant's circulating around the engine coolant's trying to circulate through the heater matrix therefore providing you with warm heaters now obviously if the coolant's not going through the heater matrix you're not going to get warm heaters so that is that is the problem so i'll just take you over to the front of the car just grab my torch and i'll show you the little bag that is obviously split and causing the problem okay so this this particular engine is two two liter tdi shine the torch can you see that little bag there that is the problem that bag splits and obviously goes through the cooling system down to the pipes that go into the heater matrix obviously there's it's two there you can't see the bottom one um and the heater matrix inside the car is at the lowest point so the two heater pipes obviously the flow goes through the top here through the matrix and down to here so this pipe was clogged Proper, I mean, properly clogged, the heaters were freezing cold, so no circulation at all in that pipe, and that is the problem. So, the only remedy really is to fit a new one. I mean, I tried clearing this out while it was on the car, and it made the heaters a little bit better, but it's totally clogged. So, yeah, it's what a stupid idea. But you can access, you don't need to take the full dashboard out. And I managed to get it off, so all the parts are here. So heater motor, heater ducting, and uh, just plenty of screws really. It is a bit fiddly, but as far as heater matrix goes, it's not a bad job. So we'll get this one fitted, and I'm then going to move the expansion bottle and remove the bag. So heater matrix back in. Now you can see the two pipes, one's held on a clamp at the bottom and the other one is like a little horseshoe clip. Make sure you get those pipes in properly because if not obviously cool, it's going to spill everywhere. But the actual matrix itself goes behind this cover so there's three bolts, one there, one there and the one at the top there. And it's on tracks so you literally line it up, slide it in and you'll feel it click in. Put this on before you put the top hose on um, and that's it basically fitted so what I'm going to do now is remove the expansion bottle remove 
the uh, granule bag from inside it and then I can run this up to temperature and check for leaks before I start putting all the interior back together. The blower motor can only go in one way. There's three screws. There's, I'll get my torch sorted. One there. One there. And one there. Uh, but if you'll have a look here, there's some little clamps. So it can only go in one way. You literally offer the blower motor up and that clamps in to hold it in place while you get the screws in. Right, this is the offending item. So this bag lives inside the bottle. And what happens is these bags split and then obviously causes the bat. Now, I've just had a word with somebody who works at Volkswagen and they said these bottles were recalled at some stage. Um, I mean, that don't look like it's split, but they just say, yeah, the bottles were changed, but the heater matrix aren't changed. So whether this is a new bottle with a new bag and eventually it's just clogged up, I don't know. But this, literally take your bottle off, pull this out and throw it in the bin. It doesn't need that. Total waste of time and it's going to block your eater matrix up eventually. So I'll fit this back on. I've just washed it all out inside. Fit this back on, put some coolant in and uh, put it all back together. Right, everything's built back up. We're back in the car, engine running and heaters are <laughs> quite red hot actually. Uh, turn them down. So yes, uh, this brings us to the end of this video. So if you do have a Volkswagen and you're suffering from this, you know, heater fall, um, it is something to be aware of. It's the first time I've come across it. Um, but just make sure you flush the, the cooling system afterwards. I mean, I had the bottle off. Uh, I flushed the cooling system before when I actually diagnosed the heater matrix was blocked up. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's just a stupid idea. Why would you do that? Um, so yeah, I know it's not the normal type of video that I do, but it's just something to make you aware this is a obviously a, a prone fault. It's got to be because I just can't I can't believe it, but so yeah, if you do enjoy that video, give us a thumbs up and uh yeah, I'll see you in the next one.